And one item that you can find easily at garage sales that I find all the time in similar type items that are pretty darn cheap when you find them. Usually they are for me anyways, and they go for a decent price and most people just walk right past them. Everybody and welcome back. I mean, welcome back here. Welcome back to the Commonwealth Picker channel. We're over here one night only. I did a video six months ago. This will be our last what sold video on this channel. We've been putting garage sale videos on this channel. This channel is bigger. It's got twice as many subs. And we do all of our what sold videos on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. So there may be a few people tuned into this who are looking just for the garage sale videos. I promise you we will have them back out on Saturday. We'll put a garage sale video on for you here on this channel. The reason why we're over here tonight is I usually take Wednesday night off on the other channel. Actually, I take Wednesday night off, period. I don't do any shipping on Wednesday night. It kind of helps me since I, I teach full time, get to the weekend and kind of recharge and get everything going again. And I gotta have that one day off in the middle of the week. But we have way too much that is sold since the last video. So we have 23 items on the Commonwealth Picker eBay store that have sold $929.35. And that doesn't tell the whole story. One of those items was one of our 12 days of Christmas auctions where y'all have been so generous. And one mug sold for $178 plus shipping. And I'll tell that story in a minute. But there were a lot of really good sales. Most of them I think I'll ship out tomorrow. And then that video will be back on the Commonwealth Flipper channel on Thursday. But we still had some pretty good sales in this little mix today. Matter of fact, I had one item that you can find easily at garage sales that I find all the time in similar type items that are pretty darn cheap when you find them. Usually they are for me anyways, and they go for a decent price and most people just walk right past them. So we're gonna take a look at that one and similar items like that today. We have a Homeschool Hustler store sale. We have some CommonwealthPicker.com store sales as well. We have some gifts under the tree that we're gonna open and put these ornaments out here on this tree as well. So thank you for joining us and welcome back to the Commonwealth Picker channel. Or maybe you're new to this channel, I don't know. Or maybe you're new to the garage sale channel and didn't know we had a flipper channel. If that's the case, go over there and check it out, Commonwealth Flipper on YouTube. So thank y'all for joining us. And if you are, like I said, new to this channel and coming from the other one, don't forget to subscribe and hit that alert bell up there as well. And you can check us out as we buy this stuff. But tonight we're going to look at what's sold. Let's go. Hey, I'm going to start with these. And these are pretty easy to find too. I have found these so many times over the years. These are the Welch's Jelly Jars. This isn't the item I was talking about. I'll show you that in a minute. But this is similar. This is something you can easily find and it's usually dirt cheap. Sometimes you can find it in boxes and boxes. So it's just Tom and Jerry Welch's and there are four of them. I think they came four to a year, but they did it for four or five years and these aren't matching years. So if this was all from the same year, could easily be $25 plus shipping, but it's not. So we got $14.95 I think is what it was. Yep, we got $15 plus shipping for these, and we got them in a big lot. And this covers our cost, gives us a nice $10 profit. And then all the other ones we have already sold and are gonna continue to sell are pure profit. All right, I'm not gonna hold this thing up here the whole time. I'll just let you take a peek here. There you go, they're lacrosse balls. So let me put them down and I'll talk about them. I normally say we pick these up on the Commonwealth Picker channel, but you're on that channel. So if you look back on this channel a little bit, you'll see, I think the garage sale was a little bit awkward. And we picked up some great stuff at the last sale of the day, late in the day. We ended up probably making, I don't know, 150 bucks profit at the last sale of the day. That's a pretty nice one. I like that. So this was in three different bags. I saw two and the guy's like, how about a buck a piece? Two bucks. I'm like, sure, no problem. And then there's another bag. And I said, how about another dollar? And he said, great, no problem. So we grabbed three bags for $3. There were 60 balls in here. So a lot of time, you know, I know a guy played again, Rick. If you watch this channel, you know, played again, Rick. He would take these over to played again sports and he'd probably get, I don't know, Rick, I don't want to talk out of turn here, but 33 cents a piece for him. So, you know, that's what, well, I guess that's $20. And so he'd make like a $17 profit. But I put these on eBay for $45 plus shipping. And so $3, $45, we're going to make not quite $40, but we're going to come close to it after our shipping discounts and all that stuff. So we're gonna get pretty darn close to 40 bucks. Let's say $37 profit, $38 profit on these guys right here. And you can find them all the time. 
Now, I just happen to live in an area where lacrosse is fairly big. The University of Virginia is just a little, you know, hour and a half up the road, and they're really big into lacrosse. The high school I teach at is big into lacrosse as well. So the city I usually pick has got lacrosse balls everywhere. But baseballs, a lot of you live in baseball communities. I grew up in a baseball community. And so you can find baseballs everywhere. You can lock those baseballs up. It doesn't really matter the condition. What really, I mean, you're not going to sell junky waterlogged ones, but if they're leather baseballs, they will sell. And if you can find some minor league baseballs, put them in lots, they'll sell even better, even used, or even singles, you'll sell. So don't ignore baseballs. Don't ignore lacrosse balls. Don't even ignore tennis balls. If you can find big enough lots of them, dirt cheap. But tennis balls don't sell for much. But the beauty of a tennis ball is they're not heavy. So here's a little trick really quick. If you're going to sell a heavy ball, whether it's a lacrosse ball or a baseball, figure out how many you can fit in a Region A box, either of the Region A boxes. Because you can fit quite a few in there. At least a dozen you can fit in there. And then, you know, a dozen balls are going to weigh four, five, six pounds, depending on the ball. And what you can do is just, if you do calculated shipping, you can put two pounds on it. And you can do two pounds calculated shipping because you know you can fit it in here. So if you have a ton of things, sometimes it's good to figure out what you can fit into a package that you know that what the cost is going to be or relatively what the cost is going to be. I don't recommend I don't recommend flat rate shipping boxes because it's really not that great of a deal. But I think you get the point. I decided not to do that. And I know it's in a priority box, but I put these at a FedEx calculated shipping rate and then offered a couple of different options as well. This is what I did. So $45 plus shipping cost me three bucks. Hey Turner, we have a homeschool hustler store sale. Who's that guy? Uh, Lollipop Dragon? It's Lollipop Dragon. It came from the Mount Plushmore sale, which used to be a sale I called something different. If you've been around a long time, tell me what we used to call that sale before we called it the Mount Plushmore sale. Okay, if you've been around a while, tell me in the comments what we called it. Hey, me and Blue Ridge Mama dug through one of the very early videos we did on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. If you go way back, we dug through a bunch of plush that came from that sale. And that was in it. And I didn't know who it was, but it looked familiar. And so I asked, and the KP Trainum told me who it was. So Lollipop Dragon. It's not worth that much. I think I had it listed for maybe $12.95 plus shipping. And it sold because somebody said you wanted to do an offer. And I said, sure. 10 bucks. We've had it so long. So Turner, check it out. $156 buy. One of my absolute favorite yard sales on the Commonwealth Picker channel. And which is this channel now, I guess, right now. So $2,000. we are only making $8 profit from it. $2,018 profit. And Turner, you get a dollar to do what? Save a dollar, spend a dollar, and donate a dollar. You got it. Awesome. Thank you. Bye. Hey, one more item that I sell pretty often. We'll talk about it real quick, and then we'll go check out some stuff in the back. All right, sold one of these yesterday. $2 at Walmart, and the answer is yes, I will take off the clearance sticker. <laughs> so for $14.95 free shipping, make about $7.50 every time we sell one of those. Let's go in the back and grab something real quick. It's right here. It's this bowl, and I can't remember the name of this sale. It wasn't too long ago. We bought all kinds of stuff, sold two things from it. Maybe when we're inside and I show you the other stuff, I'll uh, give you the name of that video. Comanche Pottery, which I have never seen before. At least I don't remember seeing it. 0077 10 inch is that Millie bowl Mille? I don't know but I just saw it and I thought it was really cool and I had it listed for $30 and somebody said hey will you do 25 bucks and I said absolutely I don't think it was a viewer but it might have been I don't think it was but I just think it's pretty cool and that pottery is not my specialty but I do enjoy watching Thrifting 101. Michelle is one of our earliest supporters, and we love watching her show, especially around Christmas time, because she always talks about that Christmas stuff. So, Michelle, hopefully you're doing well if you're listening out there. And if you don't know Michelle, go over there and tell her we said hi. Next item is a Matt Part-Time Picker specialty right here. Matter of fact, I saw an Instagram from Matt where somebody had him autograph these things and <laughs> ship them to him. Let's take a look. And here we go. Underwear. It was not big money for sure, but I only paid a dollar. I don't know if you can see that yellow on there or not, but I used a dry erase marker to get that off. And sometimes if you use that black permanent marker and then you get it off with a dry erase, you can see that faint yellow. And, you know, paid a dollar for it. And they sold for $20 plus shipping. So, you know, some people, if they don't make a particular kind of underwear, they just have to have them still. There you go. Not bad money. 
almost forgot to talk about this. So this was our first auction item and it was paid for. $179 plus shipping. St. Jude's auction at December 2020. Commonwealth picker, Commonwealth flipper, and then everybody signed it, of course. And this was given to us. It was bought from the CommonwealthPicker.com store by Kristen. And then Kristen donated it. And we are now auctioning it off, and it's all going to St. Jude. Kristen, thank you. And Robert, thank you. All of it's going to go to St. Jude. Thank you so much. It was the first of our 12 days of Christmas auctions, and you guys are terrific. Let me read that message real quick. That's incredibly generous. And I asked Robert, hey, anything you want me to plug Instagram something? He's like, nope, just a great cause. Was happy to be able to do this. I purchased an Inaman a month or so back to get my store moving, and it sure did. Now... If I can only work for the post office, why don't you send one there, he says. <laughs> Thanks again for all that you do, including the whole family all the way down to the four-legged kiddos. I just had Sophie in here because I've been saying she hasn't been feeling well. We had to shave her skin. She's got a skin condition, and then we're doing some treatment. And she just was shivering because it's a little cold in here. It's like 62. It's been freezing, and the heater hadn't quite kicked in yet, so I had to take her back up. I didn't want her too cold. So, At any rate, love the principles you are teaching the kids, not just your own. Since this charity auction isn't about me, give an extra shout out for the kids. Wow. Okay. Will do for sure. Thank you, Robert. That is incredibly generous. We appreciate it. Hey, speaking of signing underwear, you know, Matt, I'm glad that I don't have to sign underwear. I just typically sign Titleist hats. And that's the next auction on our 12 days of Christmas. I'm going to put it out tonight, which you will see tomorrow. And just mind you, this hat's not in perfect shape. I've worn it like 100 times on every video. So there you go. Commonwealth Picker. And if you want the kids to autograph it or something, just leave a message if you uh, happen to be the winner on that one. These other ones are out there as well. I think this is number seven. Let's see, that mug, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Five more to go on top of that. And then I have one thing that Reagan's going to announce here pretty quick as well. Just reminded me, you know, I'm si he's signing underwear. I'm signing Titleist hats, but I'm not one to talk. I am selling plush enemas, for goodness sake. All right, I bought a whole ton of stuff at a garage sale, a bunch of 31 stuff. And 31 stuff usually does pretty well for me, but I hate to list it. So I usually just throw it all at Blue Ridge Mom, and she says, all right, I'll list it. All right, this is a wristlet. There's a bunch of 31 stuff, but the wristlet should be down. I think that one is it right there. Awesome Blossom. There you go, 31. I think it's sold for $7.95, free shipping. And we're into it for maybe, I don't know, a quarter, 50 cents. I take it back, it was $6 free shipping. That's not right. I'm gonna get this right. It was $6.95 plus shipping on that one. That turned out to be a pretty decent little profit. Must have been the only one out there because somebody paid a premium price. $7 plus shipping for that little wristlet key fob. Last one is in one of our drawers. I think it is in the garage flip store. Y'all, what do you think? Is Candace gonna get Lonnie Shed straightened out? What do you think? <laughs> I think it's pretty straightened out as it is. Here we go. Kodak. This was not a big seller. Seven bucks. Free ship. All right, we have two things from people that didn't mind us mentioning their name. So what do we got here, Reagan? A blue girl figure shirt and a misfit in a man. This is going to Peggy and this is going to Michelle. Awesome. So all these uh, misfit Inamans and Reagan, they are all gone except for one. I have one left and we're going to probably put that up. Uh, it might be up by the time you see this video. Of course, if it is up, it'll be gone because they usually sell within 15, 20 seconds. So, at any rate, thank you, Reagan. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at commonwealthsticker.com. A while back, I got a package, I think, for my mother. Actually, I know it was for my mother. And I think, I'm not exactly who she got it from, but I know she was passing it on to me. Because I would like to go through some things and pick them out that I might like to keep. Maybe put in my classroom and then sell the rest. And that's exactly what we did. I took a few things and put them in my classroom. I have this little glass display case. It's like a, a case of curiosity. And the kids are always curious to kind of look through it. So they just better not touch it. <laughs> anyway, this was in there. Marine Land of the Pacific. And I vaguely remember it. So that means it had to be open in the 80s because I was obviously born in the 70s. So maybe mid... I don't remember much from when I was really, really little. So, you know, 85, 86 maybe. And they were the predecessor, and I believe they were bought out by SeaWorld. I think that's right, which is in San Diego. There are some marine lands across the country now. I've heard that name, but this one's kind of cool. I love it. This old postcard set right here. It's got, see if it's got any killer whales. I think that's a killer whale right there. 
but it was in Los Angeles County, marine land of the Pacific. So, at any rate, I bet these may have been my great grandfathers. My AC just turned on, sorry. Because they lived in San Pedro, California, right there, and I bet this wasn't too far away. That's my guess. So, Commonwealth Grammy, if you're out there listening, let me know where you get these. Is that where you got them from? That was $12.81 plus shipping for that one. It's the day of ephemera right here. Got some other old paper there. I don't know how old this is. I don't think it's that old. But this is The Discovery. I think that's what it's called, The Discovery. Where if you see Santa Claus stuff down here. And so this one is headed out. I don't think to a viewer, although it may be. If you left me a message in the regular messaging system, I promise you I will read it, but I don't have it on here right now. That's pretty cool. It's headed your way. All right, here's the last Tigger. Just under $9. I think $8.70 fits in the 4x4 box. Sold one yesterday. Got to put uh, Mule Tide Greetings down here. There you go. <laughs> All right, so this is from the outside the box sale. And this one was from, I think she must have wanted me to buy her garage sale stuff really bad or something like that. And this poor uh, Br'er Rabbit's leg is almost coming off. And I listed that in the listing right there. But it's pretty cool. You will enjoy Br'er Rabbit Molasses Ginger. And I can't remember what these things are called, but it's some kind of advertisement. And it uh, has recipes on the back. So pretty cool little piece of ephemera right there. And this one right here is the Thanksgiving one. Was it Freedom from Want? I think is what it's called. And this one was $8.99. I don't remember what this one was. $26.95 total for these two. Plus shipping, I think, on this one. Free on this one. So $26.95 plus shipping. And this one went to a viewer, Lesta. I think I have that right. A.K.A. the Vintage Dash Nerd 83. <laughs> Love the name. It's perfect. Vintage Nerd. Perfect. I hope you and your family have a safe and Merry Christmas. You are so appreciated. Your videos are so helpful. Thank you for what you do and for all you do for others. I'll tell you what, y'all. I've got so much of that. We're doing very little. I mean, we do what we do. We do what we typically do. The fact that we're able to do so much is because so much is coming our way. It's really you guys out there that have done it. So thank you. I appreciate it. But it really is you guys. So thank you so much. Wow, looking down at all that paper right there. I like paper. You know, it's something I didn't really used to sell very much. Same thing with, with ceramics and pottery and thrifting 101 helped me out with that a little bit. And of course, crazy lamp lady. And then right here, this is paper and moose stuff right here. And you guys turned me on to paper and moose. So if you guys know Renee, she's awesome. If you don't know paper and moose, you should go check it out. She does great stuff. She does paper all the time and tell her we said hello. I turned around to get an Enaman back there, <laughs> and we don't have any. Actually, we did sell one, I think, out of the CommonwealthPicker.com, so one more misfit, I think, is all we have left. Or maybe that was the last one, but I'll let Reagan talk about that. So, hey, thank you for joining us on the Commonwealth Picker channel. We'll be back on the Commonwealth Flipper channel tomorrow, and we'll see you next time. All right, we have one ornament and one gift here today. Turn and check this out. That is a nutcracker <laughs> ornament, and we have so many ornaments, y'all. Thank you so very much. So many we're putting them around back. I think we're going to start to have to put them inside on that tree. And look, we still have more over there. We're going to be delayed in opening some of these. Maybe we'll do a Christmas video or something. Opening gifts and maybe we'll do a giveaway or something. So this came from our buddy Josh here. And he's thanking me, he says, for a $30 Tupperware buy he would have never bought. And he thinks he's going to make $100 profit on that lot right there. So that is really, really cool of you. Thank you, Josh. I do appreciate it. Thank you. And we will put that Thank one up. You. And look at this one. This is Smoking Flips. Yes. And is. I don't know if y'all remember or not, but Brandon here, Smoking Flips. If I'm correct here, I think you went on that uh, big yard sale adventure down there in Tennessee, if I recall. So at any rate, Brandon, thank you so much. This is really, really cool of you. And we will uh, definitely put your YouTube channel on here. Here's the deal. I've known this is coming for a while. And this right here is going to be something we're going to auction off. The 12 Days of Christmas, Turner. Isn't that one of your favorite songs? Yeah. Except for I we're know. going to have... <laughs> Look at this. Reagan, will you hold this up right here? I'll tell you what. Let's move it over here. <laughs> you guys aren't going to believe this right here. Here we go. Fleet. We're going to, we're going to sign each one of these yes. each month. And we are going to auction them off. 
on the 12 days of the 12 days of Christmas. So we are going to do all of these um, as one. We're not going to do them separately, but it'll be one of our 12 things. So technically we'll have the, I guess, what is that? 23 days of Christmas. There you go. So we'll sign each one. Oh, this, this is great stuff right here. I know that one's <laughs> <clears throat> and then we'll put them up for auction. That's and so all of the money is going to go to our fundraiser and charities and giveaways, which I will tell you all about later. We're going to do all kinds of different stuff. Napoleon. That's just great. <laughs> you like that one? Yeah. That's that my favorite, yes. right? That's uh, oh Max gosh. L. That's yeah, a that's cassette tape. Which so, <clears throat> is really cool. Okay. So that is something that we Thank will uh, have out there by the time you see this. You will see, that's the Sistine Chapel right there. You will uh, see these up on eBay.